uh, we're gonna jump into this. It's all about creating line art. I've done a little bit of this uh, the past week and people seem to really like it. Oh, so sorry about all that crazy flashing, but that will go away in a second. So let's just go ahead and switch over. I'm actually gonna start out on my iPad, if that's okay. Hello from Denmark. Alexander, I see you there. Stuart from Long Island, cool. Uh, Dave as well, Dave LaRoche, awesome. So here I am in Illustrator and uh, yeah, this is, uh, why is my, I'm not sure why my camera's doing that and I apologize. But uh, anyway, let's jump into this right now. Sorry about all that flashing, that is so weird. Okay, so here I am in Illustrator on the iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and like just turn on this layer because I just wanna do a fun landscape and I'm gonna start with this um, as a reference. And I'm really sorry about all that flashing. Uh, okay, let's just shut this off. There we go on that. There we go, maybe that will help. And uh, I'm just gonna outline this, but I'm gonna use as little lines, as few lines as possible. I'm gonna use my pencil, black stroke. We'll check the smoothing, which is right, right here. We'll just crank that up maybe three quarters of the way up. And we'll just get to outlining this, right? So again, we're just gonna create some simple line art and I'm gonna do this pretty fast. Kind of jump in here, draw, uh, in fact, Maybe what I can do is crank up that line thickness so everybody can see it a little better, about four point, and I can continue that line, right? So just continue along, let's undo that, let's undo that. And then I can continue that line like so. Uh, right up here, let's continue that a little further. As we can see, notice I've kind of messed up right there. No big deal, I'll jump in, select that, do a smart delete. Right, so that's what's happening right there. But I'm gonna do this really fast, so bear with me. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the screen, but let's just kind of jump in here and just do a fun outline. Again, I'm gonna do this with like maybe three strokes. That's the whole idea, it's like three lines because I wanna be able to animate this line in a cool way. So we'll have some hidden lines, we'll grab this shape right here will go down and what I mean by hidden line is that um, you know I'm not gonna connect it fully but I'm kind of grabbing this and just creating some fun shapes in here so I'm kind of grabbing the uh, the shadow if you will right up here like so and then we're gonna animate this we're gonna use trim pass in After Effects so it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm really excited about this we'll jump in here we'll wrap around and you can kind of see what it's doing is it's giving me these sharp points. Muriel, I see you there. How you doing? Uh, what are you using for a pen? I'm actually using pencil because I'm using Apple Pencil and it's just easier. Okay, but I can change off in the stroke panel. I can go ahead and give that rounded um, corners and then rounded caps. Okay, so that's what I did in that stroke panel. Right, and in here I can kind of continue this. Again, it is like the one line challenge, right? It's a thick line, I get it. It's honestly like too thick, but um, I can change that later as well. And thanks for joining me on this fine live stream. Muriel, uh, ooh, uh, Adobe should add color cycling to make some kinds of animation easier and even a recolor function for static image recoloring. Ooh, that sounds cool. Um, uh, there is recolor artwork in Illustrator on the desktop, um, but I, I'm not sure what you mean by color cycling. Do you mean animating that color, cycling through different colors? Because that's what I would probably use After Effects for, right? And we could actually get into that as well if we want to change the color. But here I'm doing a pretty good job, honestly, of just doing all this in one, with one stroke. So there it is, did this all with like one stroke. I'm gonna do these antlers really fast and then we'll get uh, get it moving to the desktop, right? Like so, zoop, 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 zoop. 
right? If you're not crazy about how it's treating your line, again, just adjust the smoothing. Maybe it's smoothing too much. Uh, but again, Randy, yeah, I would jump into After Effects. Ultimately, that's where I wanna get this phone to add a lot of animation. So we are on the same page and I love that idea. Cycle through these colors, colors if you have them, and then also cycle through, um, animate the line and then uh, maybe even make the line wiggle, which I haven't done that in a while. So I have to look that up, but that would be an expression that we would add, which would make the line jittery like, you know, uh, what is it, Dr. Katz? I know, to add, throw in an old reference. Zip, zip. Bring that down like so. Cool, cool. Maybe we'll do, I really feel like I needed to add a little like that. Some other parts, right? I could add those lines in, but that's all I'm gonna go with right now. Let's turn that off and we can see our lovely deer, right, that we can animate. So I am on an iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and uh, yeah, hello from Israel, good to have you here. Michelle's in the house. Good to have you here, everyone. So, uh, I, again, I wanted to do a whole scene, um, and I don't know if you're getting bored with this, but I could always jump in and start to outline maybe, you know, uh, some sort of range, a mountain range, really fast as well. Let's jump in here, let's add a new layer. Right. And turn that on. Oh. Turn that off. Okay, here we go. So uh, again, I could do the, this with a whole mountain range. Uh, again, I can make sure my stroke size is still that four point. But let's just jump in here, start drawing. I'll do this really fast. We don't really need much for this range, by the way. And typically what I would do is I'd change the smoothing and crank that down even more because we want all these you know, we want it to not be as smooth is the short of it. So that's why I'm taking the smoothing down. Give me all those like little ridges and bumps as I move this, right? It's gonna do the uh, expected. Right, so there you go, mountain range. You guys get the idea. Let's make this fast. Like that. They're gonna be really like uh, dramatic and with lots of ridges at the top and then the lines get smoother as you get closer to like the foothills. That's usually how that goes. And I would call that done. Cause again, I wanna hurry up through this, okay? There we are, turn that off, boom. There we are, again, doing just some simple line art and there's our uh, deer. There's our deer. I did one earlier as well. So we're wearing, we're gonna keep an eye on layer seven, right? There we go, close that. Canada in the house. Gem Webb, what's up, Taryn from San Jose. How is San Jose? We're just talking to a friend from San Jose last night. Um, and honestly, he wants to move out of San Jose, move to San Diego. So, you know, whatever makes you happy, you know, whatever works for you. Uh, let's switch screens. And we are back right over here on my desktop, by the way. We could see that landscape that I just made. We'll open that up in Illustrator. All right. Looks like it's rainy in San Jose. Oh yeah, actually, I think I heard that you guys are gonna get rain today. So, fascinating. Uh, for this, obviously we have these um, lines that are overlapping. We can manipulate that all day long as well. So this background, that's what I need to erase, right? What would you do? You could jump in, you could use the scissors tool, you could use the eraser tool, the knife tool. Let's crank up this uh, eraser tool and we can go in and just erase certain parts that are overlapping uh, the deer, just like that. Jip, jip, jip playing with this a little bit. There we go, right? Now it's kind of more integrated into the scene, right? From Blackburn, UK, Mohammed, how is that? How do you like it there? How do you like it there, huh? 
Is it everything you'd hoped it would be? Um, all right. So one thing I like to do is start to connect these lines as well. Um, so like these two lines, by the way, I could do this on my iPad, but I'd want to connect maybe two points, right? So I can go in here, select this one, select that one and go to edit. Oh, excuse me. Go to object path and then join, right? And that will connect those two lines, right? If you guys have been doing this well, you're probably doing a command J, right? Just to connect these lines, bam, bam. Let's see if this works. J, there we are. You guys get the idea. Anyways, just made this fun scene. Now let's take all of this, if you're ready, and we will get this into After Effects. Selecting everything, right, all of these lines. I don't know how many lines there are. I could twirl this down. Uh, I could see there was about, you know what, seven lines, right? Taking all those lines. Now, I use this extension called Overlord, okay? Ah. Uh, Paul, stop it already. Of course it's be a beautiful Sunday morning, or summer, excuse me, summer morning in uh, New Zealand. You're the place where everybody wants to be, by the way. Uh, Gustavo from Mexico, awesome. So this is what Overlord allows me to do. It allows me to just push this selection to After Effects. Now, keep in mind, I could save this out as an Illustrator file and open up open it up in After Effects. But this is just saves me a step, especially if you're doing this a lot. Here's After Effects, After Effects is open. I have Overlord installed in here as well, but we'll go to Illustrator, we'll click this magic little button, push that selection. Actually, let's undo that, because I want to select everything. That was just for layer eight. Okay, okay, so we have about probably like 10, we have a lot of paths now that I look at it. We probably have uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, right? What is this little one? But this is what I like to do. It's like, hey, you know what? Let's like figure out these little lines. Maybe I don't need that uh, line for the ear. I personally think I do. Uh, let's just go ahead and do the deer first. Okay, so we'll select this, we'll push this to Overlord. There it is, it brings in all those layer lines as layers that we could see right here. Um, so yeah, let's move my big head over because we're gonna be dealing with the lower uh, left of the screen. Okay, so right in here, what we could do is we could say, hey, we could take uh, one of these lines, this long one, the first one that we drew, and we can animate it. So we could twirl down the contents of this layer and we can see that it's this path, right? Or excuse me, there's the stroke, right? Path and then stroke. This is how I had the stroke at a width of four. Like I said before, we could always change that, change the color, you guys get the idea, okay? Thank you, Michelle likes the line for the air. Good, I'm so glad I kept it. I, I'm glad we're on the same page. Uh, but now let's dive into this. And again, I did this last week, but I think since everybody really enjoyed this, uh, let's do a trim paths. So it's right in here. Click that little arrow button, trim paths. So just trim up the path, right? Let's see what that looks like. You'll notice nothing happens initially, right? But if we twirl this down, trim paths, it has a start and it has an end. So you add those keyframes by clicking those stopwatches, right? Move those keyframes over, because maybe one second in, I want it to animate completely. But now let's play with it. Let's kind of cut out, say 17%. Watch, we can watch that line move. See, do you see that? So let's take this start to 100, so it's totally gone. Let's drag that over to about five seconds. Now, over the course of five seconds, it's going to animate that line. Just like that, right? That's the idea. That's trim paths, and that's how you can animate a line drawing or illustration uh, pretty easily, right? And that's all it takes. The great thing about this, right, now that I have this done once, 
You're saying, Paul, oh, you have many more lines. You have, you know, four more lines. Well, you could take those, and usually what I do, here, let's do this. Let's have, let's do this. Get a little bit more advanced now that you understand this. I'm going to take the end down to zero, like that. Now watch this. It's going to animate on and then animate off. And then it animates off sort of the other direction. It chases that line, right? Just like that. And you can overlap them so we can kind of have this happen at the same time. So it's actually never a complete illustration. Right? We can start to see it disappear as it, as it starts to reappear. So these are the uh, different keyframes that I like to play with. So now I can go ahead and attach those. Let's take these, let's copy them, and uh, paste them on these other layers. Oops. Let's go in here for group one. It's a technically this stroke, but let's paste in that trim path. And now we've, we only have to animate it once, and now we could do a copy and paste for all these other lines. Right, go in there, down to that group, paste it in. Right now it does the antlers. Oh, I better have done the antlers. <laughs> yeah, it's doing it. Oh, this is what happened. This is interesting. Something to keep in mind, something you need to watch out for. It's going to paste those keyframes wherever you have your playhead. So since my playhead was down here further, that's when it starts animating. So I was like, hey, where did it go? Well, hey, we can eliminate that. Just make sure you paste it in to that group right here. Let's do the ear. Pasting it in like so. And now we are done with, uh, with this. Hitting play. Let's actually go full screen with it. Oops, I always do that. Tilde key. Right, and there you have it. Uh, Jennifer, I can explain it again, gladly, because that's why we are here. Okay, so again, I'll just kind of turn off everything else. We'll focus on this group right in here, right? And what you want to do for this, the contents of this group is you want to add, and that's where I added trim paths. Trims allows you to trim up those paths. Since we could trim up those paths and we can add keyframes to it, it means we can animate that line. So trim paths is your secret. Make sure you're within that group. Add trim paths, boom, it adds it. Let's turn off this first one. So if I did this from scratch again, here the start is at zero, the end's at 100%. Anytime I manipulate those two, it's going to change. I might have to just delete that one and turn that one on. So here it is, trim pass. Anytime we manipulate those numbers, it's gonna animate or change. So you guys get the idea. All right. Yeah, in, oh, Muhammad took years in Flash in the past to do this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, turn all these on. I'll finish out this scene as fast as possible because we did the deer. Let's take this landscape, selecting everything, pushing it right over. There it is, we've pushed it over. Um, and now we have all these new lines. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and paste in the same trim path right here. You could hit U to just reveal the keyframes that you've been using, copying that, going in here for this contents, pasting it in, and there we go. It's all animating and it is amazing. Yeah, so these are 
The great thing is, this is why I love Illustrator on iPad, because it just creates a clean line that enables me to animate it in this way, right? Uh, let's select all, let's hit U for everything. Let's select these keyframes, right click, and we'll do keyframe assistant. Sorry, this is behind my head. Let's zoom in. Keyframe assistant, let's do easy ease. So it's gonna slow down as it completes that illustration. Pop. So it changes the look of them. And now we can go ahead and watch it slow down. Does a little bit. Cool. From there, you render it out, you know, you post to social media or wherever you want. And you can start to see, sort of reap the, the, the benefits of your hard work. Um, you could see how, so this is just the static illustration that I started with, and this is the animated version. And you can see the engagement that you get of uh, video over a still image. Because at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? We're trying to get eyeballs and people to look at our stuff or to look at our client's stuff because that's why they hired us to typically promote them or brand them as a business. That's what I do as a designer. So uh, that's the whole idea. Feel free to follow me on all the social medias. I would really appreciate it. Thank you, Afroja and Taryn and Luigi and Michelle and Jennifer and Git and everyone. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys really appreciated this. Uh, check out more of my work, but more importantly, give all of this a whirl yourself. You'll see how easy it is and uh, what you can do with uh, Illustrator on the iPad, going to the desktop, going into After Effects. Uh, so yeah, uh, the page uploading, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, at the, w once you're done in After Effects, I just kind of recap, you want to go ahead and render this out. So you want to go ahead and, uh, add to, I would just add to, uh, the render queue or add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. So you just basically queue it up to render, you render it out and then you put, put it wherever you can, wherever you want. So thanks so much, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Be kind to one another. I thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, Instagram is right below me, P-T-R-A-N-I. And uh, you got it. I could always probably post that as well. So everybody have a great day. Uh, take care and more coming soon. We've got some big time streams. Just also want to remind you that we're doing live streams on uh, behance.net forward slash Adobe uh, forward slash live. So make sure you check those out because I will be live uh, tomorrow as you can see with this schedule right here. Uh, this is behance.net forward slash live. Uh, big time schedule going on and uh, got some cool stuff as we do type manipulation tomorrow and uh, other things as well. So shameless self promo. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Appreciate you. Be kind to one another. I'm thankful for you. And uh, we will see you soon. Thanks so much.